हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यूर सेफ एंड फाइन एट होम सो टुडे ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम लेसन अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वाड्री लैटरल्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट फ्यू स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ पैरालोग्राम्स राइट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड अबाउट द रोमबस इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द फ्यू मोर स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ पैरालोग्राम सो फर्स्ट वी स्टडी अबाउट द रेक्टैंगल सी दिस रेक्टैंगल इज अ quadrilateral and it is a special kind of parallelogram so when we talk about the rectangle first see about the properties of rectangle so in the properties it's having the same properties of parallelograms so in the parallelogram which and all properties we studied opposite sides are equal and opposite uh, sides are parallel to each other angles are equal correct so these all are uh, all properties are included in this rectangle also few more additional properties are there in this rectangle that is all the angles are 90 degree here you can see all the angles are 90 degree in rectangle as well as the diagonals see if i draw diagonals the both the diagonals are having the equal length so these two are the additional property of rectangle the remaining properties are same as parallelogram okay so the diagonals bisect each other and which is both the diagonals having the same length and all the angles are having 90 degree for example if i'll consider all the, these angles as x so for x the interior sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree this we studied in the previous class right so 4x is equal to 360 so x is equal to 360 by 4 so your x value is 90 degree so all the four angles here 90 degree so this is a one main property of rectangle then diagonals bisect each other and the diagonals having a equal length this we are going to justify okay now in this rectangle let's take two triangle first one is triangle abc and triangle adb so these two triangles are congruent okay this we can justify also the ab is parallel to dc ad is parallel to bc so ab is equal to dc and ad is equal to bc so this also we can prove so using the side angle side theorem in the uh, congruency of triangles you must have studied so using that condition we can prove that triangle Mm, these two sides are equal so now let's prove the diagonals are of equal length that is ab is equal uh, sorry ac is equal to bd these two diagonals are equal okay this we can justify uh, using a side angle side congruence condition okay first let's consider two triangles in triangle abc and in triangle abd see here ab is common for both the triangle right ab is a common side for both the triangle so i can write ab is equal to ab the reason is common side correct so 
the next I can write AD is equal to BC. See, these two are the opposite sides. Correct. AD is equal to BC. So, as we know, opposite sides are equal. The next I can write, see, this angle A is equal to angle B. Why? All the angles are 90 degree. Correct? In a rectangle, all the angles are 90 degree. So, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degree. The reason is all the angles are 90 degree in rectangle in this, uh, 90 degree in this rectangle. Now, you got two sides at one angle is equal. So, by side angle, side condition can prove that triangle ABC is congruent with the triangle ABD. So, this AC is equal to BD because of these two triangles are congruent. So, your diagonals also equal to each other. So, AC is equal to BD. Understood? Okay, now let us solve one example uh, question. Uh. So, the rectangle rent R E N T, its diagonals meet at point O. Find the x value. If O R is equal to 2 x plus 4 and O T is equal to 3 x plus 1. So, let us solve this equation. Now, as we studied in the properties of rectangle, here the diagonals are which and all diagonals T E and R N, right? In this rectangle, the two diagonals are T E and R N. Here, the value of OT is given, OT is equal to 3x plus 1. See, this OT, it is half of the diagonal, right? This full diagonal is TE, so this OT is half of this diagonal. Same way, OR value is given, 2x plus 4. See, this OR also, it is half of the diagonal RN, correct. So, in the properties we studied, the diagonals of same length. In a rectangle, both the diagonals are same length and it bisect each other, divide diagonals into two equal parts. So, these two are same, these two length are same. So, I can write OT is equal to OR. Correct. Why? Because the diagonals are of same length and it bisects into two equal parts. Now, let us solve now. So, OT is equal to OR. So, OT value is 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 4. Now, move the number one side and so 3x minus 2x and 4 this plus will become minus. So, 3x minus 2x it is x and 4 minus 1 is 3. So, your x value is equal to 3. See, if you put here 3, 3 into 3, 9, 9 plus 1, 10 you will get. Same way, 2 into 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. So, both the values, 10 equal. So, this OT is equal to OR. Understood? So, the x value you will get 3. Like this, you can solve the equation. So, the next uh, special type of uh, parallelogram is a square. So, the square is having all the properties of rectangle and rhombus. 
okay. So, all the properties of rectangle square also having, but here all the sides are equal. This must have you studied in the previous classes. Square in square all the sides are equal along with that all the angles also equal. In square all the angles are equal, all the sides are equal and remaining all the properties are of a parallelogram only like opposite sides are equal, parallel etc. So, now here I have taken B E L T square. So, here the diagonals meet at point O here and these four triangles are congruent. Okay. See, I have taken one square here. You can see the midpoint here. So, the two diagonals bisect at midpoint. So, see if I will fold like this, it will form 90 degree, correct. All the angles are 90 degree. Then, see all the triangles, it will overlap. So, it is all the triangles are congruent to each other and diagonals are of equal length and all the sides also equal, understood. So, here in the properties of square, see all the sides are equal, B E is equal to E L is equal to L T is equal to T B means all the sides are equal. Same way all the angles also equal, angle B is equal to angle E is equal to angle L is equal to angle T, all the angles also equal, same way the diagonals also equal, B L is equal to E T and B L is perpendicular to E T, it is perpendicular to each other, here it forms a 90 degree, understood? So, and this OB is equal to OL and OE is equal to OT. So, these two also equal. So, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal, the diagonals also equal and diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Then this bisects which the diagonals bisect the sides also equal here understood so these conditions easily we can prove using a congruence of triangles for example if i will consider triangle boe and bot so using side 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 condition all the three sides are equal so i can write b is equal to bt bo is equal to ot and ot is equal to oe so, all the three sides are equal. So, these two triangles are congruent. Understood? So, using this also you can prove all these properties. So, this is today's class. In today's class we studied about the rectangle and square. So, here I have given one homework problem. In a rectangle AMS, AMS, find the x value. So, how we solved today's class now? rectangle problem same method only the values I have changed method is same. So, find the x value here right AO is equal to SO and solve the equation you will find the x value ok do it in your mathematic notebook. So, this is your today's class I hope all of you are understood today's class in the next class we will solve the remaining exercise problems. Thank you.